The price of Bitcoin surged this week, for the first time approaching $100 per coin. With over $10 million now in circulation, the total trading value now exceeds $1 billion. According to Mt. Gox, the world's largest Bitcoin exchange, Bitcoins have seen a 152% increase just this month. And considering the current climate, it's not hard to see why. But is this the beginning of a seismic shift, or are Bitcoins just another bubble? Now, the climate we're referring to is Cyprus, the Mediterranean nation that recently experienced a total economic collapse. Cyprus was once considered a tax haven, and in the wake of the collapse, we saw rumors of a Bitcoin ATM coming to the cash-strapped country. As far as we can tell, this is nowhere close to reality yet, but still, rumors like these can certainly raise the profile of a currency in this volatile setting, all leading some to speculate, are Bitcoins the last haven? But it's not just Cyprus helping to nudge Bitcoin into the mainstream. Even more retailers are embracing Bitcoin as a standard form of payment, among them Expensify, a service that creates expense reports for more than 200,000 businesses. Some companies Expensify included have made the move in part to avoid international transaction fees. As we showed you a couple months back, other companies like Coinbase are building relationships with banking institutions, making it possible for anyone with a bank account to convert money into Bitcoin and vice versa. But of course, where there are banks, government regulation is never far behind. Last week, the U.S. Treasury Department released a statement clarifying what types of virtual transactions could be subject to regulation. Essentially, if you're simply using Bitcoin to buy goods, you will not be regulated. But if you're exchanging changing them for cash, you can be classified as a money service business and be regulated. It is unclear though if, when, or how these exchangers will be regulated at any point. Today we are joined by Market Watch columnist and Money Life show host Chuck Jaffe to discuss how regulation could impact Bitcoin and whether or not their growing popularity is a bubble. So as a longtime observer of both financial markets and of Bitcoin, is this a bubble, what we're seeing right now, or is it something else entirely? Well, you know, sadly, if we could recognize bubbles before they happen, we'd all be smarter. So I'm not sure you can say, yes, it is or no, it isn't. But it certainly has all of the things there that make for a bubble. I mean, whether or not it gets to true bubble status, who can tell? It had a spot about a year or a year and a half ago where it was blowing up so fast, you thought, here it is. Here's a bubble. It deflated from there. It's now come back again strong. But it hasn't gotten to ridiculous side. It's not yet, you know, tulips in the 1600s or something along those lines. The, the thing that you have to remember is it does have the potential to do that. And that's where you could go, OK, things could get a little crazy here and, and we'll see if that's what happens. For more of Chuck's insights on the Bitcoin space and on investing and protecting your money in general, head over to moneylifeshow.com. We'll leave the link in the show notes below. What's your take on all this? Anyone out there gotten rich off Bitcoin lately? Let us know your comments below. And for today's Easter egg hunt clue, for each sighting of our APs, Todd or Chastity, in an episode, 25 points each. Just send us the links to rev3techfeed at gmail.com with your age and address. And for the full rules, check out our Facebook page. For TFN, this is Annie. 